Beautiful day today. Uh, see down there the pyramid pig, bananas of hills, way out in the different distance. Boy, it was 12 above zero this morning. Uh, boy, out in the sun now, it feels hot. Magnificent day. I've been walking up through here scouting the uh, connecting stream. We're getting down pretty low water, but I think I can still make it if I hit it right. Um, be all right. This lower end is what is usually where you hit if you do, but I think I still got plenty of good water. Dick has got 26, and I've got 32 inches. Um, I yeah, maybe in the next, maybe tomorrow. It's supposed to be another nice day, maybe tomorrow. Maybe we can get them to come up here and haul us over there. You'd probably rather go over there when Geraldine's oh, yeah. there, huh? I'd like to go when Geraldine's there, but not really. Hoping pack out a moose. Then when, before they was married, when uh, they used to come here. Yeah, she's from Louisiana, you know. I, you know, I knew she. She has kind of an accent. I can oh, never. Yeah. She's a. She's a. <laughs> Deep south there, all right. But she's got more of a. That's green moss, eh, Dick? Mossy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope that that keeps them away. Now, I don't know if it does or not. It's not going to rain, is it? But, uh, Tomorrow. I, 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 you know, I don't have the parts left. Every year I nail some more. That's what all those nails are. Is I keep nailing the chunks in that they, that they tear out of there. And, uh... I had a little bit of creosote left this year, so I coated the hell out of it. Yeah. Here, I'll got this fish box for me. All right. Do they, do they leave that creosote alone? Pretty good. Nah. Huh? Nah. They don't. They like it uh, too. I, uh, you know, it doesn't seem to really bother them that much. I put it on there because it's exposed, and then I just don't want it to get water on it. It'll yeah. rot, quite rotten. It. But I got the eaves so big that none of the logs get wet. So that's yeah. Good luck. I gotta get my trip boots on there. Um, there go. Hmm. He keeps them pretty well uh, booby trapped too in the winter time. He's got those shutters that got the spikes sticking out of it. And <laughs> but these bungee stairs, boy, he's uh, somebody walk around here and run one of those through their foot. He'd have a uh, well, he'd have a lawsuit on his hand. Well, I reckon. <laughs> Judge would say, well, he should have known. <laughs> he keeps them bears from walking around there. What do you think of that roof? I don't know, but uh, I find that uh, with them tall screws like snow don't slide off. In the air, they got a spike camp mm -hmm. out there. These guys are doing, I mean, he's a really good hunter. He saw 20 moose there this morning, 10 bulls, 10 cows. Oh, oh. oh. most people oh. aren't seeing any moose at all. They all are oh. calling, complaining, no animals, no animals. These guys h hiked way up. Went over to talk and they, they picked Dick Frinicky and I up and went out and finished the Dick Strady up at talk on today. That was nice. That was a nice visit. Dick Frinicky really enjoyed it, I think. I think he did. This is kind of big honker. Well, packing in a little wood today. I'll show you how I'm packing it in. A pretty heavy load here. I have to give my back some brace on. All right. Get this thing up here into it. I had to bring it in from out and across some boggy areas. It was kind of wobbly. Let me get this thing up. I had to get it on the ground and get turned up and get it on. But 
I'll bring the wood in. Bring in a little wood. I leave it in these long wings. Well, you keep it in long wings and. Hey, when I use it, I'll come out, saw a little bit, have enough wood for a couple of days, saw a little more. But. I'm also using a little bow saw instead of a chainsaw. Yellowstone, I used to have the horses. I'd break into my logs and just buck them up right in front of the cabin with a chainsaw. And, uh, stack it on the porch. That was it. This is a little tougher. A little more involved in this deal. There's some nice, huh, got some dang gloves up there. I've got another couple of those to bring in. But stack it up here like this, keep it a little drier. There's a little, put a little. This is kind of big honker, but it's not really as heavy as it looks. some good wood. I got a little more to go. Why don't we bring a couple more trees? First snowfall of the year. This is September today. Thursday, September 16th. That's September 16th. That's what I was trying to say. Snow is falling here at Twin Lakes. You see the box is covered down there. First snowfall, September 16th. But I'm sure we'll have a little better weather. There's some guys hiking from Tahlequin over. Whew, man, I am glad I'm not with them. I'm in here in this nice warm house. I got a pot of beans on today. Black beans is my day off. Got a pan of rice going, which I had better take off. I think it's done. And I've got bread, whole wheat sourdough bread rising in the oven. So, And I just did clean up my dishes here. There's my bread. It's not baked yet. It's just rose. Got the oven on, getting ready for it to be put in. I think it's going to turn out all right this time. Good. I take some up to Dick. Got a pot of beans, pot of rice, fresh break bread, blueberry sourdough pancake. I mean, uh, bl uh, fresh blueberry jam. There's some right there in that little jar right there. And there's some sourdough jar too. Let's hope it doesn't fall. Now this may put a little hurt on the blueberries and snow. 